a blessed Friday to us. It is not uncommon, or it, it is commonly always pictured in the Gospels, that when Jesus says something about declare, declaring regarding the law or the teachings that the Jewish people really embraced, that they always keep silence. No? They keep silent. Di sila mutubag, di sila makasulti. Now, in today's Gospel reading, the scholars of the law and the Pharisees, whom Jesus actually were confronting, were unable to answer his question because the question is actually a very important exception to the law. It is not something new. In other words, what Jesus was asking them, if your son or ox falls in a cistern, would you not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? This is one particular exception to the law of the Sabbath. What is the Sabbath after all? The Sabbath is a day of rest. No work has to be done. And I remember as a student, our professor, a Jesuit, who actually also studied with the Jewish rabbis, he told us and revealed to us that in the context of the following of the Sabbath, one cannot make anything that is considered work. And what is considered work? Let's go to the trivial ones. To, to tear a piece of paper is not allowed on the Sabbath. Would you take that? Even to tear your toilet paper. Because tearing something is creating something new. And the Sabbath rule says, no something new should be done on the Sabbath because it is rest day. Even God rested. That's why my, my professor would, 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 would tell us something like, sa gagmay pa sila, wapag ka ng alas tres pa sa hapon sa birnes, naan na sila'y tagsa-tagsa ka mga, mga, mga buluhaton sa balay. Naanay mag maggisi na daan og toilet paper ibutang sa CR no naanay maghiwa na daan og mga 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 kanang utanon para sa gabi eh. nobody is even allowed to cook food because that is making something new even to put on and off the switches of the lights that's why the the rich ones sa ilang balay na sila mga automatic na mga switch off on and off even opening the refrigerator is not allowed on a Sabbath. Nganuman, when you open the door of the refrigerator, there is a light. No, that's why ilahan ang tabunan para dili musiga. Even elevators. During the Sabbath, the elevators can just go from one floor to another without pushing a button. Kay dili pwede, kay trabaho na siya. How much more certain activities in, in uh, inquiring are requiring uh, energy. So these are something that actually makes the Jewish people very, very serious about it. And anything against this is always considered against the law. But there is an exception. If your ox falls on the cistern or on the canal, you have to take it out because tomorrow, wala na kay gamiton pag, pag, pag daro sa imuhang, imuhang uma. No? And in other words, what is even more important than the law is life. Now, whatever is given about the law, it is to uphold life. So if it is against life, then the law is lifted up. That's why we always have the saying, there are always exceptions to the rule. But do not make the exception the rule itself. Now, kana ambulansya. Manong di na sila mutuman of traffic light. Okay, na na sila gidala nga uh, malation ba or some, something kana continue on board kaya ang uban ng ambulansya gamiton lang ang ilang sirin para makakuan sila sa traffic that's why what Jesus was telling them is very very basic and they don't have to even answer that because they know it from the start after all they are scholars of the law now in our life we do a lot of things we also have so many rules and regulations to the point of sometimes suffering a greater value because of our personal, you know, mga ka-stricto lang yun nato. Usahay mo ingon pa mga ganita, stricto po mga kas ginoo, oy. No? And this is where we have to take a look into. In every rule, there is an exception. But that exception 
should always be seen in the context of lifting up a higher value and that value is life and this is what we have to think think all the time to consider all the time in fact to embrace because everyone's life is always valuable and so as we continue this eucharistic celebration the only thing we can do as a start is to thank the lord for this great gift that he has given us in fact this gift is connected with our continuous prayers for the dead not only during november 1 and 2 or the first eight days of november but all the year round because according to the church law my law there are indulgences that we can get when we pray for the dead when we visit cemeteries and pray for the repose of the for the eternal repose of the faithful departed amen